I am Jose Manuel García Lomas and Allen Perkins, President and First Consultant of the firm García Lomas and Allen Perkins, the ADO Corporation. Today we are going to talk about how do we orient, guide our sale. For this we are going to give the keys for a true and positive orientation in our sales presentation. The name of this video is The Client, The King. Let's imagine the beginning of a professional sales interview. And for that I will put myself in first person and today I have decided to visit my king and for it I draw it in a outline of a flip chart. And since he is the king, I immediately add to him one of his attributes, which is the crown. At this point I understand that there it will be people who may be astonished, even I would say shocked by my daring to draw the figure of my kin. But immediately I will have to clarify that in sale the client is the king. Now that this possible misunderstanding has been clarified, I will start what is going to be my own sales interview with my client who in short, as we have said, the client is the king. And I begin by telling my client the following. Today, Mr. Customer, I want to talk to you and present something that is going to be of a great interest to you. Because it is my product A and also my product B, which is intimately linked to A, as you can see. To do this, I start by creating a positive atmosphere as a good professional that I am and establishing a double communication with the client to let him know my product A and product B, which I develop in three steps. First, I tell, look, Mr. Customer, today I want to introduce you as I told you, something that goes to be of a great interest to you because it is about my product A and B. And now I come to give a good explanation with all the necessary details about what my product is and what my product has. Even if necessary, giving a scientific explanation to my client given the high level of knowledge that he has and that I understand he will value perfectly. Next, in a second place, I will come to deepen my presentation, trying to make my client see everything what my product does, what it does, how it works, what it works for, what it serves for, and where it is indicated for use. And in a third place, as in short, what I have to do is to sell my products to the customer, now I make him see what my product is going to mean to him when he gets it. And there I add all short of benefits of all kind that as a good salesman that I am, I'm able to incorporate to my product in my presentation to my client. At this moment when all this is taking place in front of an audience of professionals, I tell them that the process I have followed in the presentation has been very schematic and that they will know how to put the flesh to this structure that I am presenting to them in a didactic plan. So, schematically, what I am saying is that in my presentation I make a great emphasis on telling my client in first place what my product is, second place what my product does, and in a third place what it serves 
where it is indicating and in short what my product is going to mean to my client with all the benefits that this is going to bring him when he buys it. Now I go to the group, to the auditorium, and in a very way I go asking to two or three participants of the group, what seems to them this type of presentation that I add, I have made in it a very schematic way, but that I insist they will know how to put the flesh appropriate to mount the sales opportunity. The answer unequivocally on the part of all the participants to whom I ask then is very well, Jose Manuel says one, so it is necessary to do it, points out another one. I think it is perfect, says one more, and another one finish off, so I would like to do it myself. Well, I tell you now, producing a real shock in the hall as I turn toward the figure of I am representing the King Klein, and ostensibly drawn with a marker the lines of double communication that I had painted between products A and B and the King Klein on the flip chart. And I add no, no, and no. It is not the best way to sell. And I add, although this way I have just explained, sell, of course sell. Otherwise few things would be sold in this world of business, in this commercial world in which we are moved. But still I have to indicate and insist that no, that is not the best way to sell, since there is another way to sell even superior. And if there is a better one, let's leave the less good one and choose the better one. Now I tell the group that what I have just represented is what is called product-oriented sales, because here the king is not the customer, the king is the product what my product is, what my product does, what my product is going to mean to you, Mr. Customer, which I believe it will mean to you. The seller who makes this type of presentation has a name. It is a product describer salesman, a product describer. But there is a superior way to sell to this one we just described from the product describer salesman. And it is the sales oriented toward the client and his situation, that is to say, the customer oriented. And how does it develop that new sale? Well, also in three steps as the product describer, but in a different way that we will explain. First of all, we must start with a good knowledge of my product since I have to be a real expert there. And I'll go first, so to speak, from behind of my client, trying to figure out something that my client doesn't share with anyone in this world. And that we are already on the order of seven billion human beings on the planet Earth. But even so, this client that I am visiting today has something behind him that he does not share with anyone in this world. And I insist, look, that we are already more than 7,000 million people. And what is that? His situation. And in his situation, there are many vital aspects that I should know if I want to make a presentation that is truly oriented towards the heart of my client. Among other things, their current situation, their motivation, attitudes, desires, interests, needs, expectations, problems, etc., etc., of my client. Related to the type of product and situation that I am living with that client today. Once I have delved into my client situation, using to do that my good questioning technique, 
and I updating the customer situation to date in relation to previous information I may have. Now I also develop in three steps my customer oriented sale and his situation. They to say becoming one customer oriented. How? First I said getting a good information about my client and his current situation. Second, influencing customer demand. And what do I mean by influencing customer demand? Well, talk about their needs and interests, defining them exactly together with the client, abundant the most if possible and prudently dramatizing the problems that the client and I have extracted from his situation. With this, what I want to achieve is that the client's problems that affect my sale, such as their interests, desires, needs, etc., etc., are clearly exposed throughout the conversation with the client and making my client very conscious and aware of that his situation. And what for? For phase three, it says presentation of my offer in line with the situation and demand of the client. Now I can be a product describer telling my customer one, what my product is, two, what my product does, three, what my product is going to mean to him. That I, I know now that what I tell him I know will fit his needs and that for that reason it will have a great meaning for him to the point that it is going to provoke the sale, seeing that my offer meets his needs. Now I no longer make a false assumption as when the product describer said what the purchase was going to mean to him. Now in this situation of customer oriented sale and his situation, I know that my offer will fit the customer situation because it was previously defined by the client and I and I amplify it and now I am satisfying it. All in all, in the end, we see that also the good salesman professional ends up being a product described, but not before having made a good definition of the client situation. Product oriented sale versus customer oriented sale. The product describer salesman versus the customer oriented salesman and his situation. Product describer versus customer oriented. And that's the question. I suggest that from now on, when you come out of a sales interview, you analyze yourself and ask yourselves, have I been more of a product describer or have I been more of a customer oriented? And yourselves. We must remember the definition of book about what selling and selling is to satisfy needs. To say is not to sell, to sell is to ask, to know how to ask, influencing the client with questions rather than with statements or pretentious terms. If you are interested in our videos, I suggest that you give a like and subscribe to our channel for the videos that are to come.